You only have five days, 22 hours, and like six minutes to catch all of these Pokemon as much as you can. And by the time this video is uploaded, it's probably like four days now. It seems like a long time. It's not. But luckily, it's enough time to still be able to eat breakfast. <laughs> That was a fun, unique experience. Okay, which Pokemon should you be catching? I guess it's important to explain why you need to catch these Pokemon. For onesies, oh my god, these spawns here in Seville are in, do you see this? Everybody's luring all this up because the lines are so long to get into these places, but I love when Pokemon Go players take over a city. It's the best. Cheeky field research check. Okay. We as a conglomerate, as a family, completed, what is happening? We as a conglomerate, as a family of Pokemon Go players completed the challenge bonus right here. Bonus is active for the next five days, 21 hours and 39 minutes. It's two times catch candy. Five, six technically from what I'm looking at now, six full days of two times catch candy in Pokemon Go. Usually we get double catch candy sometimes during an event, usually during like a spotlight hour or like a special event like GoFest. Very rarely do we just have it for six full days. So you're really gonna wanna take advantage of this and catch a specific list of Pokemon that are spawning during these six days because if you check actually back in that same tab, five days, 21 hours of double catch candy and the uh, water festivals, five days and seven hours worth of water festival spawns. The water festival being one of the best events, in my opinion, this is the best time for double catch candy. Oh, also, okay, I was go plusing pretty much the entire time we were on that horse. Did we get anything sparkly? We go plus the shiny binacle yesterday. Today, person, oh wait, I got a ditto? Okay. Today, if there is a goal today for shinies, it's honestly Staryu. I really want to shiny Staryu this event. Not because it's a good shiny, because it used to be, and it's just not in Pokemon Go. It's better in the main series games, no shinies. But if we could get a, you know, if we get a shiny binacle, we can get a shiny Skarmory, or Staryu. St 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 okay, double catch candy. All the gyms are blue here at the cathedral. Doing God's work, Team Mystic, love to see it. Which Pokemon are we catching today? For starters, strategy you're gonna to wanna to do, Mega Evolve a water type Pokemon. And the nice thing is with the new Mega Evolution update, this makes this whole thing way easier because I don't know if you just saw it, but we just Mega Evolved the Gyarados for free, like zero energy required. Now the reason why you wanna, sorry. The reason why you wanna Mega Water type is a couple of, sorry, can you stop right in front of me? There's a lot of stuff on a dog. Having a Mega Pokemon, Mega Water type Pokemon will give you right here, I have high level. So catch candy bonus, you get extra candies when catching and you get a greater XL chance. A lot of these Pokemon you're also gonna want XL candy for, which is huge. And if you have just the base level Mega, you still get extra catch candy bonus. So with high level on a Mega Gyarados, we'll be getting a lot of extra Water type Pokemon candy on top of the double candy bonus. So do that. Okay, what to catch? Starting off with this guy, Lapras. And the reason why, it's not because Lapras is super crazy meta good, because as an ice type and as a water type, it's not that great. It could be a good budget if you need it, but Lapras is super duper rare and it has been since 2016. Not a lot of times do we have Lapras spawning in the wild and not a lot of times do we have it in field research. Lapras is a tier three raid boss right now, which is nice, but you can get it for free with the field research catch 25 water type Pokemon during this water festival event. Now what makes Lapras great other than its rarity and the fact that it can be shiny and the fact that it's wearing a scarf bow is the fact that it's ranked 51 in the Ultra League and Go Battle League. So if you're into GBL, Lapras is not a bad bet for the Ultra League. And again, it's just rare. It's nice to catch. And we got a 98 from the field research, which was fire. Oh my gosh, look at this cluster spot. Wait, Lauren, what park is this? 
Wait, okay. Well, it, it's an insane park. Look at the cluster spot. There's a pal. What is this? There's a palpitoad here. <laughs> this is cool. I don't even know if these are like Niantic sponsored. I think this is just how crazy this park is. Dude, this is awesome. This is a dream. Well, if you happen to find yourself in a, in a park like this with spawns like this, another Pokemon you're going to want to look for is this guy right here, Magikarp, for very obvious reasons. Number one, it takes 400 candies to evolve Magikarp over to Gyarados. Number two, Mega Gyarados. We've covered Mega Gyarados plenty of times on the channel, so it's obviously nothing new to us, but Mega Gyarados is currently the number two dark type Pokemon under Mega Houndoom and the number to water type Mega Pokemon underneath Mega Blastoise. Mega Gyarados is really helpful and actually really useful and I'm actually using one as my buddy right now. Oh no, I'm not, no. No, what did I just have? Who's my buddy now? Oh God. There we go, that's more like it. Mega Gyarados as the buddy, which means we're getting extra candies, extra, extra candies actually. So getting more Gyarados candy or Magikarp candy and Magikarp XL candy, really, really important for that Mega Gyarados because getting that as close to level 50 as possible is just huge. Not to mention, if you're a GBL person, Gyarados in the Go Battle League is ranked 37 as a shadow and 55 as a normal Gyarados in the Ultra League, which is boss. In the Master League, Gyarados is ranked 10, normal rank 15 shadow, but you do need XL candies to get that in the Master League, which catch your Magikarp as much as you can right now. And Gyarados ranks super duper high in the Master League Classic and Master League Premier Classic uh, GBL things. So just a great Pokemon to catch in the wild. And it's always fun. I don't know. I love when Magikarp is spawning in excess. So look out for that lad as well. All right, now we're going to just keep swimming through this park and through this city. And again, raking in all of this candy. And speaking of Lapras, cheeky little Lapras check. It's so funny because like I'm over here like banging out these Lapras raids and Zoe keeps saying, stop doing the raids because <laughs> the field research is free. I want the shiny. Okay, well, actually we just caught something. The next Pokemon that I want to talk about, what did, we, what did we get from it? Hold on. We got Field Research. I'm doing every Dupiter. Actually, you know what? Screw it, we'll talk about Dupiter. If you watch Trainer Tips video, it is pronounced Dupiter, not Dupiter. I was calling it Dupiter. We'll call it Dupiter because I like to annoy people. Okay, Dupiter, the next Pokemon you're gonna want to catch during this double candy. Why? Because it's a little bit more rare, right? You could find it in the wild, it's definitely out in the wild, but the research task is catch 15 Pokemon is what gives you a Dupiter during the Water Festival event. Why do you want to catch this goofy little spider? Well, uh, its evolution, Araquanid, is actually ranked 13 <laughs> in Great League, in Go Battle League. It doesn't get that big in CP, uh, but you know, it, it's, wow, Do we should we evolve to it? Hold on, I only have two Dupiters. Okay, we're gonna evolve this one over to the Ar Araquanid. Get this in the Pokedex real quick, because again, it, it actually just weirdly is super duper good. Rank 13 GBL, I know I'm not a big GBL guy, but like, the thing about Go Battle League and the reason why I always give the Go Battle League numbers is because you never know, this thing looks insane. Dude, this looks wild, what? Okay, into the Pokedex, it's huge, it's massive. Its legs don't even fit. The reason why I, would, I talk about GBL even though I don't do it is because although I'm not a big GBL guy, um, you never know when this system's gonna be fixed, you never know when there's gonna be fun events a part of it, you never know when there's gonna be great research encounters, you never know when you're gonna need the GBL. So um, having you know good Pokemon or at least Pokemon sorta of prepared for Go Battle League is always just kinda nice. And then yeah, so this thing goes up to, yeah, 1498 if we wanted to like level this one up. It's bad IVs for PVP, but 1498 for Great League, not bad. We need 106 more candy, exactly. We need more candies because it's new Pokemon. So don't get stupider, catch your Dupiter. <laughs> Oh, hit me with a car. God, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> okay, next thing that I want to do, man, we, we got to complete this research. Although it doesn't ma matter, it doesn't make a difference because part of the research, if you don't remember, on the Santa Monica Pier it glitched out for me, which means I cannot complete all the research 
and therefore unlock the super duper ultra uber special research. But it's fine, we'll just <laughs> we'll just get this now. Okay, other Pokemon that you're gonna wanna look for and you're gonna wanna catch during this two times catch candy window. Meryl, actually. Now Meryl, I will say there are an absolute abundance of them in the wild. It is literally Meryl Community Day every day all day with this new update, the Water Festival event. And if you wanna, if, if you're just extra hungry for Meryl and you just want more, the field research evolved to water type Pokemon will give you a Meryl as well. So, just good Meryl vibes, a lot of Merrells. And the reason why you want to evolve, sorry, the reason why you want to catch Meryl is because Azumarill is ranked 20 in Great League, in the Go Battle League. It is a freaking beast. Also not to mention, in my opinion, Azumarill has one of the best shinies because it is a uh, golden little egg shiny. It is fantastic, so it's a great one to get, it's a great one to battle with, definitely awesome. Oh, and also too, just to show how much candy you actually get, from having a water type mega at mid level as your buddy. <laughs> okay, we just caught this wingle, right? And then it'll show six candies. We get plus one for the mega, which is great. Oh, we got no XLs out of that, just seven candies. Still, seven candies a catch. We usually get an XL candy from every catch. It's really, really worth it. And also today, we have a problem. I haven't caught a shiny yet. We have to catch a shiny before the video is up today. And we have to talk about at least two more Pokemon. Oh, Pony Adventure, hold on, hold on. Nice, that's done, nice, that's done, nice, that's done. Oh, Mystic Seven, can you believe it? Pony Adventure, walk two kilometers, catch 15 Pokemon, spin five, focus up gyms, we'll get her done. Oh, should we, should we work on our mega moment? Yeah, let's, let's, here, let's complete this. We can actually knock this research out. We can never knock research out. This one we can get out of the way. We got the 1500 dust, 100 Charizard Mega Energy. Nice! You've just witnessed a rare moment. Mystic 7 actually completing a special research storyline. It's 8.51, the sun's setting, I'm hungry, Lauren's hungry, we have two more Pokemon to talk about, we gotta catch a shiny. Also we have Leo and Benito. Uh, yes. What's up? <laughs> what shout outs we got today? Leo and Benito and we're from Frankfurt. We love Frankfurt, Frankfurt. Yes. and we love the Europa Cup. And we are yeah. only here for the football. Okay? And we are winning against Glasgow, uh, State, uh, Glasgow yes. Rangers. Yes. And what happens when you win? We're flying back to Germany. Okay. And we have a lot of beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're having a lot of German beer. Yes. And you we are want, playing. You ever want to German? Yeah. The beer in Germany is great. It's really good. It's no, the yeah. best. I was okay. in Berlin, Berlin and Dortmund. Yeah. It was really good. But you have to come to Leipzig. You have to all come to Leipzig, okay? Next event. Shout out the boys. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. Dessert for dessert before dinner is just good for the soul, right? Look how pretty it's a flower. Oh my gosh. Uh, We've got a cliff. I'm getting shiny desperate right now because we've been, <laughs> dude, I've been catching all day. I've easily caught or encountered over 500 Pokemon. It's like a one in 450 for a shiny. We're getting robbed right now. Okay, what is the next Pokemon? There's a marching band parade coming down the street right now. This is about to get really loud. Um, the next Pokemon you're gonna wanna focus on, it's gonna be Whalmer. Why Whalmer, you ask? It's not that good. Why focus on Whalmer? Because Whalord, it's gonna get so much louder, so much quicker. <laughs> Whalord is a 400 candy evolution. It's just always nice to get the candy for Pokemon that require 400 candy to evolve. Also, Whalord is just thick, baby. He's just a thicky with two Qs and a C. And the field research encounter to get more Whalmer uh, is catch five Pokemon. We'll give you Whalmer encounters right now in Pokemon Go. And the final Pokemon that I wanna talk about today, there might be one or two more, it's Poliwhirl. Why Poliwhirl? Well, it's kind of a more rare spawn right now in the game, but in the Go Battle League, Poly Poliwhirl is actually like a monster. Um, well, not Poliwhirl, sorry, Politoed is the monster which you can evolve into using Poliwhirl and a Sans, some sort of evolution item, I feel like it requires for that. But Politoed, that which evolves from Poliwhirl, which is spawning in the wild, is great in the Ultra League. It's rank 38 uh, as a normal, and it's rank 59 as a shadow. Oh my god, it's a Charizard against a Sceptile. That's not good vibes. Politoed is a monster, and in my opinion, Politoed has one of the best shinies in Pokemon Go. It just looks incredible with the kind of like cotton candy blue and pinkish vibes. So if, you, well, you can't find Politoed shiny in the wild, unfortunately, that would be awesome, but more candies, more Excel candies, always good vibes. Also, we need to take this Charizard down ASAP. Okay. Okay, Cliff, I also highly recommend trying to get the Shadow Shiny from because I just feel like we were able to evolve Shadow Shiny, execute to Shadow Shiny Alolan Executor, maybe a Shadow Shiny Cubone into Shadow Shiny Alolan Marowak. 
is a tragedy. Okay, 198 Shadow Cubone. Wow, that is just not great. But this right here is where we're eating dinner. And is somebody already luring these? Oh God, okay. We're gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna lure these stops. We're gonna catch a shiny tonight, it's gonna happen. But first, we've got a marching band and some food. 